Quba is in the south of Medina. It's near Quba, actually. It's a, it's a different di uh, sort of uh, neighborhood, different uh, region, but it's near Quba, and it is where the first Jum'ah prayer was established. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Tala al-Badr alayna, although let's not go into Tala al-Badr alayna, because realistically, the, uh, um, okay, a quick point of trivia for you, for you to learn something from. Tala al-Badr alayna min thaniyat al-Wada'a. Okay? The full moon has risen over us from the valley of Wada'a. All right? From the valley of Wada'a. Where is the valley? Now, we all assume this is the Hijrah, right? The Prophet comes from Mecca to Medina. Mecca in the south, Medina is in the north, right? So he comes from the southern side of Medina. He enters the southern side of Medina. And we all assume, oh, Tala al-Badr alayna. Where is the valley of Wada'a? In the north of Medina. The valley of Wada'a is the north of Medina, actually, not the south. So when did, when, when did the girls of the Bani Najjar stand on their roofs? And sing Tala al Badr alayna for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, most likely on his return from the campaign of Tabuk. Most likely in the ninth year, or the ninth or the tenth year, in fact, of the Hijrah. That is when they sang that for Rasulullah. But we all associated with the Hijrah. Tala al Badr alayna. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam comes, when the light of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam comes into Medina and he, and he arrives. And it is a Friday, or the first Friday, he, he waits, he stays in the, in the, um, in the southern suburbs of Medina uh, for a few days before making his way uh, into, into Medina itself. And the Friday comes, and the first Jumu'ah prayer in Islam is established. No Jumu'ah in Mecca. The Muslims were not allowed to congregate in Mecca. The first Jumu'ah, the first formal gathering of the community in prayer is in the first year of the Hijrah. The first Friday of Muharram, uh, Afan, of Rabi al-Awwal, the first Friday of Rabi al-Awwal, the Prophet according to most accounts, arrives in, uh, in, in, in Medina, it is Rabi al-Awwal. Okay? That is what marks the community. And we who engage in our practice of Islam, alhamdulillah, in this far-flung place, in the far north of the world, which, grudgingly or, you know, tawan or karha, as Allah says in the Quran, willingly or unwillingly, this country that has accepted us, that has made us citizens, which we contribute to, which we derive benefit from, where we are safe, where we are not um, subject to the mass persecution that you see in other parts of the world, the mass slaughter, having to migrate en masse, as you are seeing now in different parts of the Muslim world. You know about Gaza. You all know about Gaza. What about Sudan? What about what is happening in Sudan? These are our brothers. Our brothers in Islam. Descendants of the first Muslim community to be established in a place of safety. Abyssinian Islam. African Islam. So I am from South Africa. Alhamdulillah, I am from South Africa. My family comes from South Africa. Obviously from the subcontinent originally. You could probably tell. But we, we, but we come from South Africa. right? And it's a matter of great pride to the Muslims of Africa that the first place where Islam was safe was Africa. It was Somalia, in fact, the Horn of Africa. And from there it spreads into Egypt, underneath Egypt, into Sudan, and so forth. That country was a country that was relatively stable for 20 years. And then two people decide to go to war with each other, the president and vice president. And now millions of people are faced with starvation, with war, with persecution, They're being removed from their homes. We know about our brothers and sisters in Kashmir, your brothers and sisters specifically in Kashmir, and what they have been subject to. What do we have in this country? Sometimes somebody frowns at us. Sometimes somebody shouts, uh, some, uh, you know, some, some job shouts some word at us. Maybe we don't get a job that we applied for because our name isn't Edward Barnes. So we don't get a job. Okay? All right? That's the extent of our persecution. 